Hi viewers, today we are going to see study of CRO. CRO stands for cathode ray oscilloscope. Uh, it is used for measuring and displaying the signal parameters. The signal parameters are voltage, uh, frequency and phase. This frequency and the time are inversely proportional to each other. Uh, we have measured the time value in CRO. Uh, if you take inversely that value, inverse of time value, we will get a frequency. Uh, that have to verify by using audio frequency oscillator AF. This is the workbench. You have to turn on the workbench and now you are working with the any circuit. This is the CRO using which you are going to measure the signal parameters. This is the front panel of the CRO. It has a on and off switch. Whenever you press this switch, the CRO will be turned on. Now we shall see how to measure the parameters of the signal. It is having two channels, channel 1 and channel 2. This is the pin from where you will be, to which you will be giving the prop, connecting the prop. So for each of the channels you have two separate knobs for varying the amplitude of the signal. This is the time varying knob. It is common for both the channel. Using this knob you can measure time in units of seconds, microseconds and milliseconds. Similarly, you can measure the voltage also in units of volt, millivolt. The Y position varying knob for both the channels. It is separate for both the channels. So, if you rotate this knob, the channel will be moved in the Y direction. This is the X position varying knob. By using this knob, you can move the signal in the horizontal direction and this knob is common for both the channels. Apart from this, you have certain other buttons that is provided in the top of the front panel. In that, the first one is XY button. Using this button, you can measure the amplitude which will be dealt later in the later session. The next button is channel 1 and channel 2. Whenever you are pressing this button, channel 1 will be deactivated and channel 2 will be activated. So, if you are moving the Y knob of the channel 2, then the channel will be moving up and down. Similarly, if you release this button, channel 1 will be activated. So, if you are measure, rotating this Y knob of the channel 1, the channel will be moving up and down. Next one is mono and dual mode. In mono mode, you will be able to see only one channel at a time. If you are pressing this button, then both the channels will be displayed simultaneously. So, at a time you can measure both the input and the output. Next we shall see how to check the proper functioning of the CRO. For this purpose, you are, I am making use of only one channel at a time. Connect the prop, insert the prop to the pin. So, prop has two terminals. One one terminal is positive and another terminal is negative. Here you can see that there is something written here. That is it is a square wave and its voltage will be 0.2 volt. So whenever you are connecting the positive terminal to this hole or whenever you are inserting the positive terminal to this hole, you will be getting a square wave of amplitude 0.2 volt. You can see that this is the square wave of amplitude 0.2 volt. How to check whether this is 0.2 volt? For that, first note that each of the small small boxes, each of the small small boxes denote a value equal to 1 unit. And each small division inside this box will be equal to 0.2 units. Remember, one small box indicates a value equal to 1 unit and each small division indicates a value equal to 0.2 units. So, for measuring the amplitude, we will be counting the number of boxes. For measuring the voltage, count the number of boxes covered in the vertical direction. Next, you have a knob. I am connecting this into a channel 1. So, the knob voltage knob corresponding to the channel 1 is this knob. And in the knob, there is a small cut. That cut will be pointing the, pointing the multiplier value. This value here is 0.2 volt. So, in order to calculate the voltage, you have to multiply this 
value along with the number of boxes covered. So here the number of boxes covered in the vertical direction is 1. 1 into this value is 0 0.2. So it is 0 0.2 volt. Now I am changing this multiplier value. I am changing this multiplier value to 0 0.1. So how many number of boxes are covered here? 1, 2. 2 into 0 0.1 is 0 0.2. So you can see here this is 0 0.1. So even if I change the multiplier, the waveform is getting only magnified. There will not be any change in the amplitude. For now we shall see how to measure the time period. For measuring the time period, position the way so that it is starting from the origin. Time period includes one cycle. One cycle means one positive plus one negative or one negative plus one positive. So count the number of boxes that is covered in the horizontal direction. What is the number of boxes covered? One, two, 3 is not completely covered. Here you have one small division that is coming. What is the value of the small division? Small division is equal to 0.2 units. So 1, 2, 2 plus 0.2 is 2.2 units. Next what you have to see? You have to see the multiplier value. What is the multiplier value? Here you have a small pointer here. Corresponding to that pointer you have the value 0.5. So 0.5 into 2.2 is 1.1 milliseconds. This is the audio frequency oscillator. This is also called as the function generator. So from this only you will be obtaining the input signal. So it is also having various buttons in this front panel. Now we, we can see one by one. This is the display. Nearer to the display you have certain dis another display. So it is used for selecting the units. So here you are giving input signal the parameter that is set in this AFO is frequency so frequency the unit is hertz so three ranges are available here hertz kilohertz and megahertz and your displayed here is 0.983 hertz now we need to set a value of one kilohertz so here you can see a lot of ranges available 0.3 3 hertz 30 hertz 300 hertz 3 kilohertz 30 kilohertz 300 kilohertz and 3 megahertz so whenever you are asked to set a value choose a range that is greater than your prescribed value for example you are asked to set a value of 1 kilohertz what is the range nearer range that is available to 1 kilohertz it is 3 kilohertz so select 3 kilohertz then you have two buttons for varying the frequency one is coarse and another one is fine if you are using this fine then the value will be varying at a lower pace 0 0.00 variation only will be there if you are making use of this coarse adjustment then the value will be varying at a faster pace you may see here so whenever i am making use of coarse adjustment value is varying at a faster rate whenever i am making use of a fine adjustment the value is varying at a slower pace apart from this you have buttons for choosing the signal three types of signals can be obtained from the afo first one is sine second one is triangular and third one is square now we shall see how to measure the parameters of a sine wave so for measuring the parameters of the sine wave what i should do i should give the sine wave as input to the cro so how can i obtain the sine wave as an input for that connect the prop so to the afo here there are two pins to which you can connect the prop always take care that you are connecting here not in the ttl pin you just insert your prop prop has two terminals one is positive one is negative i have previously told how to check the positive terminal using the zero so if you are connecting the positive terminal to this hole you will be getting a 0.2 volt square wave. so connect positive to the positive terminal of the positive of the CRO and negative to the negative terminal of the CRO prop.
I have selected the sine wave this is the sine wave you can see that I have connected to the channel 1 now I am going to measure the amplitude and the time of the sine wave first we shall measure the amplitude how can we measure the amplitude count first count the number of units in the vertical direction what is the value here 1 2 how many number of divisions covered 4 divisions 1 2 3 4 so it is 0.8 how many complete boxes covered 1 and 2 so 2.8 what is the multiplier value here the, the cut is against 1 volt so 2.8 8 into 1 the amplitude will be equal to 2.8 we shall see how to measure the time period so for measuring the time period you have to consider one cycle one cycle means one positive plus one negative so count the number of boxes that is covered in the horizontal direction how many boxes are covered from here to here two two boxes so 2 into what is the multiplier value here 0.5 so 0 0.5 millisecond so 2 into 0 0.5 is 1 millisecond so you have generated a sine wave of 2.8 volt and time period equal to 1 millisecond see but for your exams you will specify with the particular frequency value as well as the amplitude value now we shall see how to obtain the, that particular amplitude value for example if you are provided with the 10 volt amplitude value what you have to do is there is a level changer button in the AFO adjust that level changer button so you can see that the amplitude value is increasing you are specified with a 10 volt value how many boxes are there available 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 only 8 is available totally here and the multiplier value are put in is 1 so in order to obtain a 10 what you have to do is you adjust this multiplier to 2 now what is the value available of amplitude 1 2 3 3 into 2 is 6 so if it covers 4 more boxes you will be able to obtain a value of 10 volts so for that what you have to do you have to change the amplitude now change the amplitude such that total 5 boxes are covered to obtain amplitude of 10 volts so 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is how you set that particular amplitude value so whenever you are asked to set a particular amplitude value change this level button in the AFO as well as adjust this multiplier so that you will be obtain the required amplitude similarly you may set the other waveforms also for that just change the select button in the AFO this is fine if you press this button it will be triangle if you press this button this will be square the measurement remains the same only the selection of the button change